All right guys, we're back staring at my engine bay. And in this video, we are going to talk about throttle closures. And throttle closures are something that I know a lot of us have been talking about for a really long time. It's actually a pretty simple concept to understand, but there are so many new people coming onto the platform and there are a lot of people that really just don't know what we're talking about. And I'm starting to realize, you know, we kind of need to help make sure those people are aware because a lot of them are just kind of scared to ask these questions and they feel like, you know, they're missing something pretty obvious. So I'm just going to make this video to help, you know, inform you guys if you are curious what throttle closures are and what we're talking about. So a throttle closure is exactly what it sounds like. And the reason why this happens is because our throttles are electronically controlled. The pedal in the car is not directly connected to the throttle body and everything is adjusted based on tuning. So that's why if you go to different drive modes, you can feel the sensitivity of the throttle change. That's because there's an electronic control from the pedal position that actually tells the throttle what to do. So if you see inside here, this is from like a different vehicle, but same kind of style. There's a plug that plugs into and actually controls the throttle. And then it has the same style butterfly valve that can kind of flap open and closed. Now keep in mind on our cars, the throttle body is really just a backup. It's not the main thing that's used to manage airflow. BMW engines use Vanos, so it adjusts the valve lift in order to control how much airflow is getting into the engine. And I'll do another video to explain how Vanos and Valvetronic works, but basically the throttle body is just a backup. It helps create some vacuum in the intake manifold. And then in this case, it's also a backup to help support boost control. We have a boost pressure sensor in the charge pipe before it gets to the throttle body. And then we have another one on the intake manifold itself right before it gets into the cylinder head. And what the car is looking at is basically your boost target compared to how much actual boost you're making. So let's say you're targeting 15 PSI. If it sees 16 or 17 PSI in this charge pipe, it can close the throttle body a little bit and limit how much air is getting into the intake manifold. And when you actually see how much boost is getting into the engine, it'll be a lower amount. So it's basically a way just to protect the engine. It's assuming that whatever your targets are and your limits are that are put into the tune are, you know, potentially a safety limit or something where you can't go over that. So it's going to try to limit the amount of boost in there by pulling the throttle back. Now, a lot of people got familiar with this back in the JB4 days. When you're using piggybacks, you know, it tries to fool the DME into thinking it's running less boost than it actually is so that it adds boost on top of what it's supposed to. And because it has to communicate that back and forth a couple times, the response can be a little bit sluggish. And that's why sometimes it goes over the amount of boost it's supposed to. And so you could feel that sensation in the car where, you know, like I said, instead of hitting maybe 15 PSI, it hits 17. And then it tries to close the throttle to pull it back. And in the car, you feel it pulling really hard. And then all of a sudden it slows down and tries to pull you back. So that was kind of a frustrating feeling. And we all thought that would be fixed once we got flash tuning. Unfortunately, it still can be an issue, and a lot of people are facing that today. What's happening is, even on the stock map, sometimes you'll see the boost goes over target, and it's just because your boost control isn't perfectly dialed in for your car. So, especially with off-the-shelf maps, you'll see this a lot. If you're going in different environments, maybe going from summer to winter, or going to different elevations, the car will perform slightly differently, and the tune won't be perfectly adjusted. So the throttle is basically that safety net to help make sure everything stays in check. Now keep in mind, this isn't just something that you need to feel in order to figure out what's going on. Of course, it's also something that you can see in your logs. So this is an example of one from my car. This is actually on the stock tune. So you can see it's only targeting 9.1 PSI. The pedal is completely flat, 100%, but the throttle angle is closing to 60%. So it's basically a 40% throttle closure. And the reason why this is happening is because you can see the boost pre-throttle, which is measured in the charge pipe, is hitting 10 PSI. So the throttle is closing, and then you can see the manifold pressure is actually 9.3 PSI, so it's dropping it 0.7 PSI to get it closer to the target. So that's basically what you're looking for if you are trying to see if there are throttle closures in your logs. The other things that can kind of indicate there's an issue is if your load is going over the load limit or if your torque is going over the torque limit. So just kind of dig around through the parameters and you'll see what actually needs to be adjusted either to make the car safer or to give you more room so you don't run into the throttle closure issue. Now a throttle closure isn't the end of the world. Like I said, even on the stock tune, I see it sometimes. 
but one of the biggest issues that we're running into is basically riding the limits of our fuel system. So as off the shelf maps try to push cars harder and harder, sometimes you really need to set really tight limits on your boost control so that if you do run into a situation where it goes over target, it can respond really quickly. Sometimes that doesn't happen. So I hear people telling me, you know, they've got their fuel pressure is crashing and they need to upgrade their fuel pump because their stock pump can't keep up or their TU pump can't keep up. But if you look at the tune, they have a huge throttle closure because the boost is going over target. So the boost in the tune is actually completely safe, but because of their conditions or whatever's going on, it's going over the target that's set in the tune. And by the time the throttle starts to close, your fuel pressure is already crashing. So again, that's not really like a fuel pump issue. It's a tuning issue. You need something that's either less aggressive or with finer boost control in order to make sure that the car can operate safely. So that's kind of what I focus on when I'm looking at throttle closures. At the end of the day, the throttle closures aren't really the end of the world. Like I said, I even see them on the stock tunes, but especially on an off the shelf map that's trying to push your turbo or your fuel system to run faster and faster times, it can potentially indicate that you're running into an unsafe region. So usually I say, try to get that addressed. Talk to your tuner, whether it's a custom tune or an off the shelf map to see if they can dial in your boost control better to avoid those throttle closures. And that way, if you do go somewhere where the environmental conditions are completely different, you're not going to be hitting the limits of your car. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I hope this helps. And if you have any other questions or comments, leave them down below.